In the Tarchezet and upon earth, according to ancient times, each person carried his soul, consisting of his heart, his shadow, his name, the things that make him unique, his personality as well as his soul before and his soul after death as well as his mind and his intellect. In death the priests would open the dead's mouth so that the person's essence and personality within their soul could reunite after death. The essence had to be released while offerings of food and drink were served to keep the personality of the soul alive. The essence and the personality when united made them effective. The sun who was Ra would rise in the sky and travel through the body of the goddess Nut. Then swallowed by Nut by night as the day would be brought to an end by the god Tem. The moon is reborn to travel again through her as well while Ra would travel through her belly. Then again the moon would be swallowed as well and Ra would be reborn again as he rose in the east because of the rebirth of creation because of Sot and who accompanied by Hika as divine power to create all life traveling upon a sunboat. Nut was the protector of the dead as they entered the afterlife. Represented by stars, cows, a sow, a naked woman or a sycamore tree. Each time Ra enters Tarchezet at night he has to confront Apophis in battle till the following morning in the Duat, the underworld. As the dead travel through the Duat, they are protected by Ra, Sa, U, and Kartu, the four sons of Horus and Werthakau as well as many others. That is the sun, the sky, magic and enchantment, the word, and creative power such as divine knowledge and utterance as well as the light.